today from the newly decorated room uh, round at my parents. This is the front room. Uh, so um, things have picked up on the forum. I guess that's nice. It's 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 um, been quite quiet of late. However, um, and this is something that I I wasn't able to tell you in advance, but Jojo, uh, Psycho Jojo from the forum, he had a fight this last week. Um, it's his second fight, I believe. Although the rec his record uh, prior to this actually stood at two zero. Um, but he tells me that he's only yet fought once. Uh, I know that he's been through a series of fights up to weigh-ins where his opponent will pull out on him. That's happened several times in a row. And he, he really needed a fight, so they decided to put him in um, to uh, some sort of title match. Um, he didn't win, um, you know, so I'm a bit sad about that really. Um, but he wasn't finished. Uh, apparently there were several fouls and I haven't seen the footage, um, the video of it yet, but um, he does claim that the, the, the referee didn't pick up several fouls. Um, so I think he did quite well, considering that the other guy had, you know, plenty of experience. Um, and really, I guess, uh, for the other guy, it was supposed to be a squash match. But, uh, of course, Jojo wouldn't just die. So, um, you know, we're still proud of him, and, and we still, yes, we definitely still love him and support him. So, um, you know... Okay, this is his first loss, but it was a decision uh, loss. He wasn't finished. He was fighting for a title uh, in, he would say, his second match. You know, uh, his record says it's his third. Um, so I think he's done extremely well. Somebody else who's done extremely well uh, is Brian Butler. Now, I went and I met Brian Butler last year um, on my American Dreams tour. Brian Butler is the um, president of Sucker Punch Entertainment, which is a basically a fighter management and sponsorship um, uh, system that picks people from various different camps. Um, and I, I support a lot of the people that are from Sucker Punch, I really do, because uh, I like Brian's method of working and I like the people that he has on his books. As I discovered when I went out there last, and you can see I've got uh, videos um, uh, of training at Combat Sports Centre and I've got videos of um, uh, an interview with Brian. Uh, Brian was training himself and he decided that uh, he would go in for um, a kickboxing match again. Something that I, I didn't know about prior to it happening, it actually happened last weekend. Um, Brian went in and uh, and he, he didn't win. Um, I think he was TKO'd, but I could be wrong. Uh, he said that he, he needed to up his cardio if he was to do it again. And I think he I think he should do it again. I mean he said it was it was just for fun um, and experience to you know feel, to know what it's like to actually take part in something like that as well as being um, the manager. But uh, you know I think that was quite. Um, I, I don't know, I think that was quite a, quite a good thing to do. I would encourage him to do it again. And, for those of you that didn't know, the person who did beat, uh, beat Brian went on to win the whole tournament. So, um, you know, it's not like he was, you know, uh, squashed by some nobody. The guy actually won the whole tournament. So, I, I, you know, plenty of things, plenty of people this week to say congratulations to. Unfortunately, um, England football team is not one of them. Um, you know, they're, they're now out of the World Cup. Um, they haven't done very well at all this time. They, they had a 1-1 draw, um, a 0-0 zero, zero, uh, draw, uh, a 1-0 win, and then this time they were beaten 4-1 um, by Germany, as it happens. Uh, they only just managed to uh, not to be eliminated um, in, the, uh, in the group stage. Uh, very, very disappointing. I know that people online are blaming the manager, um, who doesn't seem to speak English, didn't seem to have the, the correct people, according to sort of public knowledge, in the correct places, according again to public knowledge. I don't really care, because I don't watch uh, football, but we can all take down the flags now, because, you know, it's not really dumb to put up flags um, unless England is playing, and they are out now. Uh, Wimbledon season is about to begin. Well, I think it's already started, but it's about to get underway properly. 
um, and I'm not, not sure that there's many British people left in there. Um, I think a, a lot of them have already gone in the uh, sort of first, first stages, so um, <laughs> there we are. Um, well, I have to say there was a very interesting thing at Wimbledon the other day. One of the men's matches went on for three days, Break, broke, broke a record because it went on for more than ten hours or something like that. And um, I think the French guy won in the end, but it, 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 the end result was sort of like 43 sets or something stupid like that. Started in the afternoon and they ran out of time and then it went all the way through the next day and then it stopped because they ran out of time and then it finished the day after. So, you know, perhaps there's something to watch there after all. I don't know because I don't really watch it. Um, I'll just say that my videos on YouTube are picking up. Um, particularly with the uh, the predictions in brief, um, and I'm getting a lot of haters as well on YouTube. Um, I don't know if that's a sign that I'm doing things right or wrong, but uh, I am um, blocking them, deleting their comments, and if they're really, really rude, I, I actually do leave them a comment on their their homepage and say that's that's just not very good. I've also tried to um, get uh, somebody who has stolen. Uh, part of my um, Jens Pulver um, dialogue um, and hosted it under a different name and completely twisted everything. I'm trying to get him into trouble as well, but that's not going so well. It, it does seem to me that um, the YouTube claim that there's a 24-7 management, they look at everything that's flagged, uh, but they, they really don't have a way of contacting them easily um, about things like this. So I, I don't know if anything will come of that or not. Um, but there we are, that's what I'm sort of up to at the moment. Um, in terms of um, work, you know, I don't know. Um, I think things are supposed to be changing with waste. I think the Markdown team is supposed to be doing a lot of the waste, but I don't know when that's happening. Um, so I may be freed more for more time on shop floor, or I might not. Uh, so watch this space for, you know, any changes on that. Um, in my family, no particular news. Uh, my parents are all away now for uh, two weeks. Um, but other than that, uh, there's, there's not a lot to say. Prayer requests, I've got two. Uh, one is from a foreign patron called Flo. Uh, one member of her family has um, had a cancer scare. I, I, I think things were, last time I checked, picking up um, on that. But we should still keep her in our uh, thoughts and prayers. Again, full uh, details you can find on the forum. There's a, there's a prayer request there. Um, and Baba Brits has, um, uh, one of his friends has a baby, and they are in need of prayer as well. Um, again, look on the, the forum uh, and you'll see the, um, the prayer request there. Um, other than that, I think that is about all um, for this week.